Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to do a pick a card all about your future husband or wife, who will you marry? So let's get started with today's pick a card. Please choose your group now. We have group number one, group two, group three, and group four. So please choose your group. All the timestamps will be down below and in the description box. And if you'd like to pause the video, if you'd like some extra time, please do so. Thank you so much for being here and let's get started. So let's start off with group number one. Hello group number one, thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the beautiful Crackle Quartz. I freaking love this crystal. It's such a beauty, it's so, so lovely. So for you guys, I feel like your person who you're going to be connecting to, who you're going to marry, I feel like this person is very, very strong. They have a very, very strong energy. They're somebody who's very determined. There's somebody who very much likes to kind of get the job done and get things done quickly. So you may be somebody who is a fire sign. You may be somebody who's quite like strong minded, strong winded. And I do feel like this person is definitely that. So the first card you guys got is the wildling. So this card is very much about you standing in your power, speaking your truth and kind of telling people how it is really. And also just maybe kind of coming into, into terms with like a cross, like a fork in the road. So I do feel like for you guys, it's really, really important for you to tune into your own energy and tune into your energy of like speaking your truth, speaking your power. So with the wildling, as I say, the, the kind of two swords crossing could mean at the moment you guys are in like a crossing, like um, kind of like a pathway that you don't know where to go. You're kind of confused, like, should I do this? Should I do this? So you're kind of deciding how do I kind of want to go about this? So right now I do feel like you are quite confused on where you want to go. Um, you're kind of thinking, okay, well, could I go that way? Could I go that way? Or it could be literally that basically things are crossed, like things are stopping you from going forward. So the two crystal cards that you guys got is Sodalite and Amber. So I'm going to read you these cards. If you guys don't want me to, if you don't want to listen to me reading them because they're quite long, I will put them on the screen now and then I also will just encourage you to fast forward the video if you need to. So these are the crystals, hopefully you can see those. So sodalite and amber, sodalite is very much to do with the throat chakra and amber is to do with your um, your power. So sodalite says logic, instincts and rationality and amber is warmth, regeneration and grounding. So sodalite says rational thinking is heightened with, the, with this logic stone known to clear mental confusion and enhance analytical and creative problem solving, which may be why we have the wildling card, because it may be you're in a kind of mental confusion right now. So this is currently your energy or how you're attracting your person. For those on the sensitive side of the spectrum, sodalite helps ease anxiety around emotions and calms inclinations towards flighty feelings. This stone provides insight into truths that make sense, not just logically, but also intuitively. It calls you back to your animal instincts, guiding you to trust your bodily sensations and messages and the messages your physical self is constantly sending to your brain. Sagittarius, Venus. So then we also have Amber, which is a really warm energy, very loving, very motherly kind of energy. Okay, sorry guys, I have a really itchy nose. <laughs> okay, this is spirit. I always get an itchy nose when I'm channeling. Okay, warmth, regeneration and grounding. Exuding warmth and electrical charge, Amber was believed by the Chinese to encapsulate the soul of the tiger when it dies. With a rich history, Amber was used as a protective talisman dating back to ancient times. Technically compromised of tree resin that has been fossilised, Amber is used for grounding higher energies back into the earth. When rubbed, it can easily become electrically charged, dispelling negativity and igniting desire. Amber is used as a purifier, cleansing the environment and chakras alike. Use, ampl use amber to electrify your life. Leo Aquarius Sun. So the fact that we have the energy of logic, instincts and rationality, and then we have warmth, regeneration and grounding. So what this is basically saying is right now things feel like you have to have things logically. You have to have everything sorted out. You have to have everything like figured out, kind of knowing exactly what's going on. And the energy that they're kind of pulling you towards is grounding yourself and bringing in that warmth energy so you can focus on yourself and focus on grounding that energy into practice, okay? And basically just grounding yourself and focusing on your the warmth that you have and basically like the higher energies, like just like really grounding yourself and focusing on just the warmth to bring into play. So basically just really focusing on giving yourself love, giving yourself attention and just focusing on the, the, the lighter parts of life rather than the negative, okay? 
So let's have a look at your person and then we're gonna have a look into the tarot and see what the tarot has to say. So in terms of your person, and in terms of your connection, uh, your energy is intuition, <laughs> which is lovely. So we have the energy of intuition supports our ability to conceive the subtle language of the realms beyond the three dimensional reality. So this is all about your intuition. This is about you speaking your truth. This is about you tuning into yourself and finding your center, finding what makes you feel like you can just be yourself. So it says the energy of intuition supports our ability to conceive the subtle language of the realms beyond the three dimensional reality. So you guys are mostly, most likely very intuitive. You're gonna be the one to bring more of that watery kind of psychic energy to the relationship. So your person is friendship. Oh, that's so interesting. We have 27, 22. And this is very much like a completely different energy. So as you can see from both of these cards, look how different the uh, two shapes are. So what I'm feeling is the person that you come into contact with is most likely gonna be a friend first. And you're gonna intuitively know that's gonna be my relationship that's going to be my long-term partner but they might not know it at first they might think oh I'm not too sure you know so I feel like this person is most likely going to have a really strong connection of mutual affection and appreciation for you um I do feel like it could be a friendship first and you could be like oh this person I'm never going to marry you know this is somebody I'm never going to be in a long-term relationship with but actually they may end up being a friend first before you get anywhere near the relationship. It just depends on your situation, guys. Just take it as it resonates. Okay, so your person, we have protected, we have practice, and we have justice. So this person, very strong-minded. This person is like has so many ideas. They really love talking. They love to make sure that justice is served in a situation. They most likely could be a lawyer. They could be somebody who's very much in fitness. Uh, somebody is a counsellor, psychologist, all of those things. There could just be so many different things with this energy. So we have practice, protected and justice. I really, really love this energy. This is really, really beautiful. So I do feel for this person, it's basically saying that they might be practicing something right now. They may be going through kind of like a course that they really enjoy or kind of like um, starting off new learning or something like that. Obviously, we're quite restricted of what we can do at the moment. So it might be that because of lockdown or kind of anything that's kind of restricting this person, it may have caused them to want to practice something new. Um, the protected energy is also saying that you are safe and supported while you change your career. So most likely this person is doing a course on something and it's causing them to change their career and change their direction with everything and everything that's going on with that. So we also have justice. It says your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. So this is a really lovely energy. I feel like this is very much about this person having balance and kind of balancing the energy of um, just the way things are and things like that. And I just feel like this person really likes things um, at a certain level. Okay, sorry guys, I had to change the top underneath my top. It was bugging me, okay. So let's have a look for the rest of your reading. So let's have a look at your tarot and let's see what is going on there. Let's see what's happening for you guys and see what's going on with this person and how you're gonna meet and things like that. First one we have, Queen of Cups, beautiful energy. She's very much in her power. She is strong. She is confident. She is striking. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles. I actually feel like your person's not too far away. Like in terms of a relationship, I don't feel like this person's far away. I think what's gonna happen is you may be kind of knocked off your path. I do feel like because we had that wildling cards with the swords, I do feel like your person, the way you're gonna meet them is gonna be a little bit complicated. It's gonna be soon, but I feel like it's gonna be a little bit complicated because I do feel like you're meant to be friends first. That's what I'm feeling. Because this person, we have friendship and things like that. I do feel like you're really happy with this person. You may already know who this person is. You may be thinking, oh, it could be them. So I do feel as if your relationship could very much be one of your friendships that you already have. And I do feel as if this person is very much seeing you in your power, seeing you as somebody who is very open, very emotional, and they want to come towards you. And I do feel like you could meet them through work. Um, there's somebody who is very loving and they're very somebody who's also has gone through a lot of drama in their life. Currently, I do feel like they're going through a lot of drama right now. I do feel like they may be moving house and that could also be kind of the drama that they're also going through. 
So I do feel like you guys may be scared to kind of go towards them because you think it might be kind of a waste of like a friendship or you might kind of lose the friendship or something might happen with the friendship. So I do feel like it's really important for you guys to tune into your intuition with this situation. If this is somebody you feel like you could genuinely have a relationship with, I do feel like it could be them. For those of you who don't know anyone, don't know, haven't got anyone in their sphere right now, I do feel like the best thing for you is to focus on what you love. And I just feel like the Queen of Cups is such an authentic relationship with herself. Like she's got such an authentic relationship with her emotions. She appreciates her personality. She appreciates the things that she has different from everyone else. So I do feel like for you guys, it's really important to acknowledge the things that you love about yourself because it's gonna bring in somebody who also loves you for those things that you love, you know? And if you're around people who don't appreciate that, they might not be the right person, okay? Um, I do feel like you guys may be suffering with definitely ending this friendship, especially if you guys already know this person as a friend. It may be like, oh, I don't know if I can kind of go over the border of friendship into a relationship. Um, I do just feel like it's really important for you to discover whether this is something you want to have a relationship uh, or kind of want to change it into a relationship. For those of you who haven't, as I say, haven't got anybody, I do feel like this will be a friend first and it may be kind of jumping over that like threshold into relationship kind of territory, maybe something that you guys are definitely going to be working on through this relationship. It just feels very important and it might be you learning about vulnerability in friendships and in your relationships too. And then we have the Ten of Swords, which is kind of letting go of belief that you're not good enough or belief that there's things holding you down where it might just be your own emotions kind of telling you, you know, you shouldn't cross the threshold or it could even be in work. If it's a work relationship, it could be that you're not meant to have a relationship at work and it could be like, oh, I don't know if this is like unprofessional. Um, but I do feel like this is something that is going to make you feel so much more comfortable when you kind of get it out. So definitely speak your truth with this connection. I feel like that's going to really, really help you. So let's see about this person. I'm gonna see what their personality is. So we have the moon, we have numerous mysteries. Person could be a water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They could be a Virgo as well. We have the second house. This person most likely you're gonna meet them through work. This person has a lot of money surrounding them in some capacity. They may be moving house. They could be in real estate as well. We have Gemini, they could be a Gemini as well. Uh, and we also have passion. This person's extremely passionate about everything uh, they're doing right now. I feel like they're, they're really going towards their passions. I feel like the restrictions of the outside world right now has caused them to have pressure on their life so they can actually expand. So they may have been doing a job that they really don't like and they really don't enjoy. So what they're doing right now is they're kind of working on focusing on what they really want to do so they can focus on that and they can get the kind of job that they have really wanted. So let's see how else you're gonna meet them. Anything else about the relationship? We have the third house, Jupiter uh, Virgo, definitely through work. I feel like this person is so, they have like quite strong earthy qualities. They're very um, organized. They're just somebody who's very passionate and I feel like this person will also give you a lot of gifts. Um, they're somebody who will definitely treat you and I do feel like this person's very much a good communicator. They're somebody who can sell you something that you don't even want. <laughs> so just be careful this person kind of like making you, kind of like, you know, swooning you. So at first you may think, oh, you know, there might be an F boy or somebody who's trying to like, you know, do me over or something, but actually there's somebody who's really, really nice. They're just, they don't, they're not sure how to approach you like in the best way. They're not sure how to kind of, allow these emotions to come through like authentically because they really like you. Um, the, the person that you're gonna be with is gonna enable you to feel your most passionate, your most authentic self. And I do feel like this person could be a Virgo as well. Um, this person, as I say, really good communicator. There's somebody who loves communicating. Um, there's somebody who's very, very artsy as well. This person has all of it. So they might actually have all of these attributes um, and they might be maybe somebody who even kind of allows you just to, they're just they're just somebody who's, they have so many hobbies, they have so many hobbies. Um, so trying to pin one hobby down is quite, quite confusing. But I do feel like one of the, the ways you're gonna meet this person is you're gonna see expansion in the way you communicate. So it could be also you meet this person through social media or it kind of like you, your, your communications through social media expand. So you might talk to more people or something like that. But it could also be that the way you communicate and speak your mind is more confident. So you're speaking your truth more, you're kind of telling people how you really feel. Um, you're allowing people to really like listen to you and 
people are re-listening to you and things like that. Um, yeah, I feel like this person is very genuine. They're very emotionally connected and they're just a lovely person. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below and also my crystal shop is down below. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye guys. Hello group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see who you're going to be partnering up with. This is going to be a long-term commitment. This is going to be your husband or your wife. So let's have a look at this connection and let's see who this is. So you guys chose the Rutilated Quartz. This is, uh, wow, it's literally gone out of my head. This is Clear Quartz and Tourmaline, I'm pretty sure. Oh my God, tourmalate quartz, yes. Tourmaline and clear quartz, sorry guys, my brain is like mush. Mercury retrograde is fully mushing my brain up like a little smoothie maker. Okay, so the first crystal card that you got is Morganite. This says acceptance, compassion, and release. It says the ultimate love attractor, Morganite opens channels for positivity, affection, and devotion to flow effortless effortlessly through your energetic fields. Morganite is una unable, no, is able to uncover deep emotional pain, bringing awareness to unexpressed feelings residing inside your body so you can release them. Know that these feelings can change and are not a part of your identity. Clearing away thoughts of martyrdom or victimhood, Morganite expands your ability to love and receive love, advancing your soul to the core of its inner truth, Libra Venus. So the fact that we have a lot of love going on in a love reading is obviously very synchronistic. The fact that we have um, Libra Venus, Libra rules Venus, and the same with Taurus, they both rule Venus. They are the love cards. They are they are the love zodiac. They are love cards. <laughs> the, the love zodiac. Sorry guys, my, if my voice is like, mine's saying like loads of random crap, it's, it's the Mercury retrograde is not helping me. So yeah, it's definitely a strong energy of, I'm pretty sure it's uh, another crystal with pyrite. So because it has these beautiful like little bits here and um, this really beautiful uh, pink with uh, pyrite, this is showing me that when you focus your attention on something positive, it's going to attract positivity to you. OK, it's going to attract more energy to you. So I love the fact that you're working on unconditional love. That's something you are definitely uh, really focusing on right now and unconditional love for yourself and really healing a lot of past trauma and things, which makes sense having the tourmalated quartz because that's also, you know, uh, yin yang and past life energy. So we have soul work as your main energy right now that you're working through. So this is some really deep energy, this is some really deep, intense thought. Um, you guys are definitely going through some really big soul patterns that you can't really get away from. And when I say you can't get away from that, I feel like it's just something that you're having to go through just to kind of get to the other side to manifest your person. And I do feel like the soul work that you're doing is super, super important. And I'm sorry guys for keep scratching my nose at spirits. They like to itch my nose. Um, I feel like with the B, they're always going, they're always full on. And sometimes we forget to take a break. So what's really important for you guys is to recognize when your body is, is tired. You know, and sometimes f for me, especially as well, like for me, I got, I have a lot of Virgo in my chart. So I feel like I have to keep going like constantly all the time. But actually, sometimes it's not just physically going. Sometimes you've emotionally gone for a few days. Maybe you've gone, been going through some like ascension symptoms. Maybe you've been going for a breakup. You know, these things are super important too. And it's not just about our physical work that we do. And sometimes we forget that as well because it's a society that doesn't accept that. So I feel like we're really working through that, going through into the Aquarian age. But definitely the soul work is something really important that you guys are working on right now. And it's definitely, this is really important to attracting your partner because you're finding out the parts of you that make you you, the parts of you that kind of connect together. And with the bees is they're always working together. So I feel like you're going to find a tribe before you meet your partner. You're going to find a group of people that really match your energy, that suit your energy and just really make you feel part of a community. It's just such a lovely energy. So in terms of your partnership that you have with your partner, your energy that you're working on right now is your third chakra. This is your solar plexus. It says the energy of the solar plexus helps us to realize who we are and who we want to be. So we can set a course towards our goal, which is exactly what this soul uh, soul work is all about. So soul work is your soul. You know, it's not just emotional work, it's everything. It's, it's emotions, it's physically, it's everything. So the solar plexus is number three. So you guys can be redrawn to number three. It could be your uh, life path number. It could be their life path number. This energy is all about you focusing on your core. So what your core has there 
is your confidence. It's also where you can store anxiety. It's where we kind of get our drive from. So this is more of on a creative kind of lighter basis compared to the sacral chakra. This is kind of where we feel safety, where we feel confident, where we feel like we can be ourselves and freedom to be ourselves. You're working on this now because this, is, this person is gonna allow you to be your authentic self. Your person is bringing romantic love to the connection, which I love so much. So you're definitely working on yourself. So you could be an empath. It could be that your whole life has been going towards working on other people and helping other people, making sure they're okay. And are you okay? Like, what can I do for you? But actually now it's about yourself. So this solar plexus is all about you focusing on your light, your, your what makes you feel comfortable. It makes you feel like, yeah, this is me. So right now your person's actually doing the opposite. This person, your person could have been working more on themselves and now they're working on opening their heart. So your person is number 34. The frequency of romantic love supports our experience to know ourselves through the reflection of a conscious lover. So this, you're, you're the person I feel like is the, con is the conscious lover and they're the, this person. Obviously you switch them around if you feel the need to. Your, your person's opening in their heart chakra. So before they've been definitely let down by romantic partners, but also they're learning how to love, they're learning how to be vulnerable and to allow themselves to be that open-hearted person. So your person, you're on the right path, keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Your person's definitely suffering with not knowing where they're going right now. So that's something that they're working on. They're definitely somebody who's gonna be very family orientated and they could be somebody who's into energy healing. They are such an Aquarius, like this person's such an Aquarius energy. They love family and they're somebody who really loves energy healing. They could be um, an emotional healer, a soul healer, a house kind of like get rid of the negative energy person. <laughs> I can't remember the name right now. Um, they could be somebody who teaches Tai Chi, yoga, things like that. I feel like that's something that is really, really important to this person. And I feel like this person really allows you to be yourself and allows you to express your emotions freely without any judgment of who you are. Okay, so especially with the energy healing, you can meet them through a yoga session. You can meet them even through counseling. They could be your counselor. Um, it could be <coughs> that you go to counseling, it opens up some emotional energy and that gives you the opportunity to meet this person. Um, yeah, really, really lovely energy. I absolutely love this. So let's have a look at your tarot and let's see what's coming in for that. Let's see what's going on. Let me just adjust my top. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's see what you guys got going on. So we have the two of pentacles. We have the seven of swords, five of pentacles. You guys have been going through it. You guys have been going through it. Same as your person. You've both been trying to figure out what's the right path for you. Uh, what is what is here for you? Yeah, your person has been driven by ego recently, um, addictions and things like that. So they're really working on kind of combating that and kind of working through it. Yeah, it's really interesting. This person, it could be um, two people as well, but I'm picking up on this person is letting go of ego and they're bringing in more love. They're bringing in more romantic love. So right now you both are feeling like kind of disconnected from yourself. You may be feeling really single, just really like, oh, I just want a relationship. I felt like of being single. I want to be intimate with somebody. I want to connect with somebody. This person's very sexual. They're very, very intimate. They're somebody who will easily express to you how they're feeling and on, on an emotional and a sexual level. They want to express to you how much they love you through physical um, energy. So we also have the magician, which is lovely. This is you moving into a new start, but you have to get through the uncomfortable energy of abandonment first. You may be somebody who's working on being by yourself. So you may be somebody who relies quite heavily on other people, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's just realizing how to work with that, how to balance that on both sides. So with the Knight of Wands, it feels like you guys have been controlled by somebody or somebody has been controlling you or something like that. Or you kind of feel like you have to be intimate with people to keep them or something like that. Like it, you may have felt like the way you want to attract love has been a bit warped, possibly from parents or a society or something like that you feel like you have to force things for it to happen but that's not true definitely not true if you guys are feeling that as well check out my human design video it really allows you to figure out how to kind of be in relationships and how to figure out how to love and things like that it's very interesting i would highly recommend it um so we have the knight of wands then we have the magician and then we have the knight of cups so this is this person transforming, but it's also when you release the need to control and figure out how to be in a relationship, you just got to be yourself. 
you know you just got to kind of and it, sometimes it takes a while to figure out who you are sometimes if you are especially an empath you're sucking up the energy of other people it can be confusing to figure out okay who actually am i you know so i do feel like that's what you're working through but this person is definitely ready to give you love quite soon i am hearing about seven to eight months for this person coming in i do feel like they're there for life um, if that's something that you guys are looking for this person is very wealthy as well they could be a taurus virgo or capricorn they're somebody who is um they like their physical things they like to physically do things so it could be literally physically like intimately but it could also be physically as in i'm going to provide for you i'm going to provide money for you i'm going to provide things for you physically let's have a look at this person oh i've got the card on the floor let's have a look at this person's star sign and things so we have the ninth house this person could be from abroad they could um be foreign from your country so they might not be like originally from your country they could have moved or something like that wow we have the ninth house and we have sag this person's most likely going to be a fire sign as well could be a sagittarius could be an aries as well i'm not picking up on leo um this person's very much into intergalactic energy they like things to do with aliens things like that um there's somebody oh no here we go we have aries so they just confirmed it <laughs> so it could be an aries as well um, this person very very watery they have neptune quite strongly in their chart or uh, pisces there's quite psychic they, they love transmuting energy they could be a medium they could definitely be somebody who is um just really spiritual they really understand their emotions and because they understand and because they had such a hard childhood they could have had just like a really hard family life where things just just they weren't going their way maybe they had family that didn't really understand how they felt so i feel like this person is really learning to love they learn to open their heart because they have definitely been let down previously in previous relationships and they're very independent so you're you're learning to be independent too and if any of these attributes sound like you that is a really good thing a lot of times i get comments like oh my god my person is me like that sucks like no that's a good thing if this person is a lot like you it means you're doing the right all the right things because you're going to attract somebody who's a lot like you so that's actually a really good thing but at the end of the day it could be a lot like you because it could be something that you just need to know right now so you attract your person and it could be somebody this person could be the total opposite to you but it doesn't mean that you're not going to attract them all right so we have aries mercury and we have the 11th house so aries is very much about that fiery energy um it's really about uh, this person has a very strong drive they're really good at speaking their truth and in terms of the 11th house most likely you'll meet them through a group um most likely you'll meet them through like groups or social energy or things like that somewhere there's a lot of people could be on a zoom call could also be in like an online group I feel like you and this person definitely have something in common and it kind of brings you two together. So maybe when we're allowed to, allowed to travel again, this person will also travel with you. Um, you could meet them on a plane, you can meet them through travel, you could meet them through a distant family member or something like that. It could be like your cousins, friends, 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 or something like that. Um, it feels like this you know this person from a past life. It feels like you recognize them. And this could even be an old lover from a long time ago and i don't normally say the word lover so it feels like something you were very very deeply connected to so it could be somebody in your past life or somebody who you met quite early on in your life maybe from childhood or something like that very very beautiful so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a reading um all the information is down below for a private reading and if you want to check out my crystal store all the information is down below so thank you so much for being here i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello good number three thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading so you guys chose the beautiful smoky quartz i love smoky quartz it's so 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 pretty so let's get started with your reading let's see who you're going to marry and your person and things like that so let's see what's going on for you guys so the first two cards that you guys chose is fate and ascension this makes so much sense for the current energy of what's going on right now so for you guys Basically, what's going on right now is a lot of us are going through extreme ascension symptoms. Um, basically, we're all ascending right now and it's very, very hard. So what I feel like for you guys is it's definitely going to be fate that you're going to meet your person. Um, it's not going to be something that is just, I'm hearing cooked up in the oven. That is such a weird <laughs> message. Um, I feel like it's not going to be something that's like, I'm just hearing like a mass produced something or other. So it's so funny, I don't even know why, but I was drawn to this like mass production cake making video <laughs> on YouTube the other day. And it was so fascinating how people do like make these cakes and stuff, but it's so weird how things are mass produced. Like it just, that turns the people, like the workers into like robots. 
So for some reason, that's kind of the energy that I'm picking up on. It's kind of like, it's not gonna be like that. So it's kind of like dating. So online dating can be very, very toxic sometimes. It can basically feel like, you know, you're not dating somebody, you're just dating like an idea of somebody or like a picture or something like that. Basically for you, it's not gonna be like that. It's gonna be like, I'm meant to meet this person, this person I'm meant to meet, I'm meant to be with them, I'm meant to find them. Um, it's gonna be like absolutely fated, really, really fated. It's gonna be so meant to be, it's actually unreal. So the way you're gonna meet them is gonna be so natural. It's gonna be like you've known them forever. And it's gonna be somebody who has your best interests at heart. So I do feel like this person is gonna love you so authentically. They're not just gonna see you as a person, they're gonna see you as a soul. They're gonna see your face, but they're also just gonna see your soul as well. So this is a really, really super deep connection, absolutely beautiful. And this person's gonna set you free. Like the relationship will set you free, it won't constrict you. You'll know it's the right relationship when they're not gonna be somebody who judges you, they're gonna be somebody who treats you authentically and they're gonna love you for who you are. So the crystal also, the crystal card that I chose for you guys is Rainbow Aura Quartz, which is a really beautiful crystal. So it says, it rules all the signs and Mars. So it says, Rainbow Aura Quartz, Aura Healing, Magic and Universal Light. Fused with Titanium, the metal of power, Rainbow Aura Quartz is amplified with enhanced healing properties. This stone is able to heal human energy fields by infusing the aura with the rainbow fields of light. Rainbow Aura Quartz is a wonderful companion for astral projection and out of body experiences, joining you in the beyond while keeping your physical self anchored. Colors have a healing quality in Rainbow Aura Quartz and are able to match the tone to your aura's energy field to repair and release blocks. Living your life in color with this crystal is a must. My third eye is going for it with that. Oh my God, my third eye is really going for it. You're definitely gonna feel when this person's coming in. I think you're gonna know. Um, it might be a little bit confusing at first because sometimes like tuning into intuition can be quite confusing. It's not always a straight line, but I do feel like when you meet your person, it's gonna be like, this is my person. Like I know they are the one, you know, they are the one. So what you are bringing to this energy is sensuality. Oh, I love this card, it's one of my faves. So first of all, I love the color. So, so pretty, I love pink and red. But just the energy of sensuality, I love just talking about anything sensual. I just find, I just find it's, such, it's such a passion of mine. Um, I think it's because I have Scorpio Mercury, I don't know. <laughs> but um, I mean, that's why I do my 18 plus readings. I love the, the intimate connections between people. So this could be you or this could be your person. This could be that you're learning to deal with emotional or sexual trauma. This could also be that you are learning to be pleasurable through your relationships. So you could have learned to really work with your sexual energy in relationships. You could be a Scorpio as well or a Capricorn who has like pushed down all of their sexual energy. So you don't actually have to be any of those star signs, but I feel like for some of you guys, you could have that in your energy. And you're learning that you are a natural sensual being. It's natural for you to want to be intimate, to want to connect. That's what we're meant to do. Otherwise, how would we make babies, you know? <laughs> so basically, for you guys, you're learning to experience joy and pleasure from the physical from the physical world through our senses. That's what you're learning to do. And I feel like it's not bashing yourself or hurting yourself because that's what you want. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, especially, oh, sorry guys, my throat just did a weird thing. Especially as a female, you know, for, for me, like I feel like I've realized that there's definitely a difference between masculine and feminine, like sexual energy, you know, because obviously you have the, you have the masculine and you have the feminine, you know, the, the ideals of who they are and male and female. So normally with feminine energy is people have, over time, obviously this is through the Capricorn age, so it's kind of natural that that's happened. It's not normal, but it's natural for the Capricorn energy to be like that because it's very restrictive. So as, a, as females, we've basically been pushed down to say, oh no, you're not good enough. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to kind of speak your truth. But because the Capricorn age is very much like that, it was very restrictive. It was very masculine uh, driven. It was very masculine kind of like, yeah, driven. It was like masculines were the people to lead. But now going into the Aquarian age, feminines are the ones to lead more. So now females are more able to speak up about their sexuality and there's nothing wrong with being sexual. I just think it's completely natural. I think it's a beautiful thing. And it's not even to do with sex. It can also be to do with creativity, how you see yourself, how empowered you are, what you love, all those things. You know, everything comes from a certain drive, you know? So that's what I feel like you're bringing to the relationship. I love that, I'm obsessed. So the, relation, the thing that your person is bringing in is forgiveness, number 20. The energy of forgiveness strengthens our capacity to let go of unwanted feelings and emotions. So this could be you or this person, take it as it resonates. 
um, kind of choose who you are in this relationship. This is really interesting. Your person is really learning to forgive themselves and to forgive people who have let them down. There's somebody who's extremely loyal. Like when you meet this person, you will feel so incredibly comfortable with them because you know that they are down for you. They're not gonna go anywhere. Literally, they are not gonna go anywhere. Like I'm just, I'm just feeling like they're there. You know, it's kind of like you've had relationships where you've had people who have treated you really badly and have kind of gone just out of you being yourself this person is still gonna be there. It's kind of like with a, like a dog, like they're really super, super loyal, but it's not in a way that like you're abusing them and then, you know, you're kind of pushing them away. It's kind of like this person will see your soul. They won't just see you as a person, they'll see your soul. Like they wanna share that with you. They wanna share that family energy with you. They want to be with you. They want you to see them authentically as well, which is such a beautiful energy, I love that. So your person, we have school, artist and career change. So your person could be going for a really big career change right now. This person could be going to school as an artist. They could be an artist. They, I'm hearing they really like Van Gogh and they really like Banksy and things like that. So they could very much like art. Um, there's somebody who is some, somebody who's kind of learning how to um, kind of find their interests. They might be trying to find themselves right now. So they're kind of figuring out what their interests are, what they're really interested in. And also with the artist, this is somebody who's extremely artistic, extremely creative. Um, and there's somebody who is currently going on a career change. It could be that they want to have their own business. Um, and I do feel like you are also somebody who's also very creative. And um, this person could even be a teacher, a lecturer. Um, I'm hearing the emperor. There's somebody who's very much a leader. They like to be known as a leader. They have such a lovely energy. Like I can feel it. It feels very warm and soft. It kind of feels like, like a Leo energy, like really loving, very authentic and not toxic at all. Like not the toxic version of that star sign. All the positive energies of that star sign. Just really loving like Taurian, Leo, Cancerian kind of energy. Just really, really soft and squidgy. Like I just want to hug this person. Like they have a really lovely energy. So let's have a look at the rest of their star signs. Let's see what other star signs are coming through. So we have conjunction, empowerment. Let's see what else we have. We have sextile opportunity, queen cunt's complexity. You and this person have gone through so many different things. Like you have definitely been treated badly in the past. Um, things have been very confusing for you. And the way you have perceived your relationships it's been hard for you possibly because you've been in narcissistic relationships. You've not realized how to love or how you want to be loved. So therefore people might have taken advantage of that, but it's nobody's fault. It just feels like this is something that you've had to learn. Um, I do feel like you're going to meet this person through social media or through raising your voice and speaking your truth. Um, really allowing yourself to say how you really feel. And we also have with speech thoughts and social media, you could meet it through social media or something to do just online as well with the third house. This person could have a really strong Mercury. Oops, that's fallen on the floor. Okay, we have Aquarius. This person could be an Aquarius as well. Um, they could have quite a bit of water in their chart. Pisces, uh, Virgo, Leo. Oh, I'm getting all the signs now. Capricorn, Scorpio. What's the other star sign? I didn't say it was a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Leo, there we go. Yeah, it's a really strong Leo energy. This person is very whole. I'm hearing the song Hole Again by Atomic Kitten. I love that song. Um, then we have Semi Sextile Allowing. This person just lets you allow you to be yourself. They are literally so non judgmental. They're probably one of the most non judgmental people you ever meet. They have really strong Pisces, really strong Leo. Like, they do not judge you at all. So, if you're with somebody who's quite judgmental, girl, they're probably not for you. <laughs> okay, obviously, take it as it resonates, but yeah, really being careful of your energy and who you. Our, um, oh, for God's sake, <laughs> these cars keep falling on the floor. Um, sorry, guys. Um, yeah, just being really careful of your energy and how you're spending it. Okay, so right now you're going for a massive transformation, massive breakthrough in your energy. You're learning to balance yourself out, figuring out what you want to dedicate yourself to, what you want to dedicate your mind to. This is your person. Yes, this is your person, earth sign. So it could be literally all the signs. Sorry, I'm saying all the signs today, but Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus as well. Um, they could also, you could meet them through work. It could be that you meet them online through work. It could be through a Zoom call. Yeah, this is, wow. This person is coming in quickly. Like this person is, you're gonna be like, um, 
I didn't know I would meet somebody this quickly. That's literally what you're saying. You're like, oh my God, I don't feel like I'm ready. Like, ah, <laughs> I'm scared, you know? But it's like, oh wow, you know what? I really love this person. These cards are flying out, girl. They are flying. You are gonna feel so much more whole. You're gonna feel so much more whole with this person because you are whole within yourself and because you know where you're going, all right? So this person, very sensual. When I said that you're a sensual person, I didn't say this person wasn't. I just feel like you need that in a relationship. You need to have physical intimacy on quite a, maybe quite a lot or maybe you, it's just something that's really important to you. You may be a very tactile person. That may be your love language is to physically touch somebody because I know not everyone's like that. So maybe that's your love language, you know. Um, so I'm getting like drawn to this person's hands. This person has quite manly hands. They might have like piano man hands or artist hands. Normally artistic people have quite long fingers um, or quite like um, like strong hands. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling that. Like I feel like this person could be a musician or something like that. I'm seeing like a guitar or uh, a piano, something like that. That may be what they're learning as well. They could be learning to... Um, be an artist or something like that like really step into their step into their authenticity so right now um this you and this person are learning to yeah right what's happening is you're going through a transformation and so are they i feel like they're going through more transformation of forgiving themselves and working through into their authentic career i feel like you already have a career that's authentic to you now you're for really focusing on relationships either or just take it as it resonates you're both working on figuring out your truth and then attracting in somebody who is really on your wavelength. We have loads of men here. We've got the King of Swords. We've got the King of Wands. So many different types of men. It doesn't have to be that you're attracted to men. It just feels like a lot of masculine energies that you're working through. It could be um, a father figure as well that you're kind of working on. The, um, any trauma around that as well. So I do feel like I'm just hearing your willingness to to give and receive love. And it could be that you were bashed because you wanted to give love and it wasn't re returned in your favor. Yeah, that's a really strong message. Like I feel like you were, you gave love the way you thought you could. And then people who were hurt, who you, who you, um, who your soul attracted, um, were shown to you that, oh, maybe I shouldn't love my, in my authenticity because people don't want that. But it's not that at all. I think it's what's happened is, your energy has attracted narcissistic energies because it's something you had to learn, um, to learn to step into your power, to really assert yourself, to know yourself. And I just feel like it's really letting yourself feel sexual and feel energy that is yours because it is yours. Um, and feeling it because it's, it's important, you know, it's important to know yourself and to express your sexuality, you know, it's super important. So, and not to be af afraid or ashamed of it, because it's, we all need it. We all we all need it in our life. So, King of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, this person is going to love you so much. I feel like this person easily could come in about two months. Um, they could be born in October as well, or somebody else could be born in October. I feel like you could be born in October there in November, something like that. I don't know why I'm doing it. <laughs> um, so, we have the Page of Wands, the uh, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Two of Wands. So as you can see, you're going to be basically working on your career as you're going through the cycle of this relationship happening. Um, it's going to be so random the way you meet this person. It's going to be really, really random. Um, you're going to basically have a really strong magnetic connection to this person. It's not going to be intense. It is, but it's going to be loving. It's going to be like really natural. Okay, this person could also be traveling, traveling right now, or they could be wanting to travel, obviously, depending on where you are and the restrictions and stuff. Okay, so we have, I rolled the dice and we have Gemini, uh, Neptune and Seventh House. So let's see what this is. <sighs> Being yourself in a relationship, that's what you're working on right now. Um, right now to connect to this person is to find your inner authenticity, like your, the things that you crave the most is what you're gonna have in this relationship. So say if you are very uh, an intimate person, this person is gonna give you that intimacy. If you're somebody who's been really wanting a soul to soul connection, that's what you're working on. You'll find you're working on whatever you're wanting to attract, you're attracting it within yourself first. And the Gemini is all about communication. Neptune is about really deep soul seeking. So right now you are communicating a lot of the trauma that you've gone through. You're releasing all of that. And also maybe you've been somebody who hasn't been able to speak your truth. There's so much of your life that maybe you really wanted to say something, but you couldn't. This is that time now. Everything is coming to its head. It's kind of like 
you know when you build up emotions and you, you maybe you haven't cried or maybe you have like a lot of possible like sexual tension and it's kind of builds up and builds up and builds up and then you have to like it crashes or something happens or you have to kind of get it out somehow that is this energy this feels like trauma has been building up for such a long time and you felt to, to repress it maybe because it wasn't safe maybe because you weren't able to maybe because you didn't even know what was going on with you this is that energy now you're releasing it through relationships and you're learning how to deal with yourself through relationships too so it could be relationships are blowing up with family friends relationships you're learning how to be your authentic self because you can't be this person behind a mask anymore you have to be yourself so and through this you're going to manifest this beautiful connection because somebody's going to love you for who you are and they're they're going through this too they're going through this exact same thing as well so you're not alone and your person is definitely there supporting you even in the ethos right now <clears throat> so thank you so much for watching if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below and also if you want to check out my crystal shop all that information is down below too thank you so so much for being here i appreciate you guys so much namaste and i hope you have a lovely day bye hello group number four thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading my lovely so you guys chose the pink opal which is a really beautiful crystal i love this crystal it's one of my favorites so pink opal is a really lovely crystal about unconditional love it's a crystal to help you find your softness to help you find your soft place within yourself and to really open your heart so let's have a look at your partner let's see who they are and let's see what you're working on right now and then we'll have a look into your partner's personality and things like that so what you are working on right now is the seeker and we also have the void oh girl you guys are going through some deep stuff so the seeker is a really really lovely energy you guys are finding your voice you're finding yourself through outward circumstances so excuse me i'm sorry guys if you heard me burp then so basically i feel like you are finding yeah you're, you're allowing things to come towards you i feel like maybe what has gone on in your life right now or recently is just things are kind of falling apart and they're not feeling like um in a straight line this is meant to happen okay because basically what's happening is it's kind of like i don't know why she have teeth i mean i know teeth represent something but with the teeth here i feel like it kind of falling falling into the void so everything that is coming into your life right now can feel quite negative can feel quite intense and obviously this is kind of showing us in the outside world as well but the seeker is all about you finding seeking out something that you have really wanted to find so say if you do want a relationship that is what you're seeking right now and it doesn't mean that you're avoiding any other things that are going on in your life it just means that what you're going through right now is bringing you towards this relationship and the void is also showing me you guys are feeling a little bit lost you're kind of confused about where you're going the void is anything can happen and i'm kind of getting an image of um a scene from stranger things so if any of you guys have seen stranger things but if you haven't there's a character called eleven and um there's a kind of energy of when they she kind of goes into her mind or something and there's like a like a black like a black space that they go into and it's basically part of her mind i'm pretty sure it's how she she can do like um the telekinesis she can she's like a really psychic person she's somebody who can like control things with her mind and go into people's minds but i'm seeing her in that kind of black kind of room and i love this as a cinematographer like i freaking love stuff like that so i'm super passionate about like even like the darker parts of like filming i just think it's so amazing how they portray that so i'm not going to go into that because i will because i love filming but basically what it shows is it's showing you that you can see things much more clearer when things are just one color so if they're black or they're white you can see things much clearer but it doesn't mean they're not as scary because it reveals everything it's showing you that when you go into your mind and it's and it feels kind of dark or empty it can feel really scary because there's not anything that's kind of in the way so say if you have had a lot of drama and now things have been very quiet it can be really scary because it might be that you're used to the drama so what i'm seeing is there's a scene where she kind of falls back because she kind of is like like literally like falling back and she's like in slow motion that's what i feel like is happening for you guys you're feeling like you're possibly falling or feeling really anxious you may be getting like anxiety in the pit of your stomach just remember this is stuff that you're working through guys remember it's not always anxiety sometimes it can be excitement sometimes it can be energy that you're picking up from somebody else um but just remember to really calm yourself and try to self-soothe as much as possible like give yourself a hug watch a nice film and take some batch flower remedies there's a uh, the thing called actual batch is called b-a-c-h it's a really good thing called rescue remedy that really helps too 
that is what you're working through right now. You're finding yourself through this confusion. And this is actually so beautiful because in the darkness, you will find the light. I know it sounds really strange, but you will, you will find your light. So the crystal you guys are going, <laughs> oh my God, it just, I just saw transformation. Of course I did. So lapis azuli, royalty, transformation, and immortality. Lovely. So it says regal in all forms, lapis azuli was most prized and sought after in ancient Egypt when it was believed to have powers of immortality and the ability to expand the heart's capacity for love. Lapis Azuli guides the soul and protects its journey from life to death. True wisdom comes from within and Lapis Azuli facilitates that by unearthing your core truths. This stone appears when you are ready for spiritual transformation and takes you to the depths of who you are, unveiling deeper awareness that you can become the leader of your own life. This is Sagittarius and Venus. Wow. So that is so interesting because Sagittarius is all about kind of like the outward energy, the outward world, like things that are kind of away from us. And Venus is very much about inward, the love, how you love, what you appreciate. So it's basically the seeker and the void. The void is the Venus and the seeker is the Sag. You're seeking something that you possibly haven't found yet, that you haven't found in yourself or there's something that's lost out your life and now you're seeking that new thing, which is absolutely beautiful. And be really proud of yourself, guys, that you're going through this because you're doing such an amazing job. Okay, so your energy, swap them around if you need to, is connection. Exactly, you're literally seeking out connection. Um, we have the frequency of connection supports our ability to find alignment and resonance with others, things and ideas, which is Venus, which is lovely, okay? So this is the energy you're gonna bring into your relationship when you meet your person, your husband or your wife. I do feel like this is somebody who, when you marry them, you're gonna feel like things are, are gonna to come together. Um, things are gonna feel like, this is like the most authentic connection you've probably ever had. Um, this is somebody worth waiting for. It's not gonna be a toxic connection. It's gonna be full on authentic. Um, you're gonna know if this, is all, if this is toxic because I feel like you would have done enough work on yourself to realize. Um, number 14 that is. And then your person, very, very similar. You two are so similar, very similar as well. Like you both have that kind of like circular motion happening around your cards. So this person is awareness, number 11. The energy of awareness supports our capacity to focus our attention on all aspects of a multi-dimensional world so that we can create a reality we truly choose. So both of you are learning to be aware and connected to yourself so you can be connected to somebody else. So both of you are really, really similar. And I'm hearing like films like The Matrix and things like that, like Star Trek, like really big kind of thought provoking films like things that make you think. And I'm getting really strong Sag from this group, like really strong Sag, Pisces, Aquarius, really big, like big thinking characters, big thinking people. Okay guys, so let's see about your person. Let's see what they're bringing in. Let's see who they are and their personality and things like that. So we have animals, we have music and we have author. So right off the bat, this person could be a author. They could be a writer. There's somebody who is very connected to the animal realm. They have a very soft energy, very loving, very caring, that sort of thing. They're just somebody who authentically cares. They really, really love you for who you are. They're very soft, very soft-spoken and things like that. Yeah, really, really lovely energy. This person is very connected to music. They really love um, kind of just anything to do with music, anything where they can really express their voice. Their voice could be their, their instrument. I find it really cringy when people say that, but I find it really cute as well. Um, yeah, their voice is their instrument. They could be really working on their throat chakra right now. Um, this person could also be somebody who looks after animals. They could be a part of like a wildlife sanctuary, something like that. Um, and there's somebody also who is just reconnected to caring to, for animals. They really care about people and animals and things like that. They're very non-judgmental. Wow. So the first card for you guys is, is the lovers. This is one of my favorite cards. I love this card. So um, the lovers shows me that you are definitely ready for this connection. Your person and you are seeking each other out right now. And we have the emperor. Your person could be an Aries, Sag or Leo. I'm hearing they could have that in their Venus sign as well. Um, you're definitely ready for it. Wow. Oh my God. You guys have got really strong energy. Holy crap. We have the emperor and the empress and we have the lovers, which is so amazing. That's great. And I'm live shuffling this as well, which is crazy. So you guys are definitely ready for a new partnership. There could be somebody coming back from the past who could have quite strong air sign energy, um, quite destructive. So just have be careful not to kind of go back into that situation if you 
don't feel drawn to. I do feel like this may stop you from connecting to this new person. It may cause a bit of confusion, but I do feel like you may be kind of confused by this relationship at first because you'll still learn to balance yourself out. You'll learn to trust um, others and you learn to trust yourself. Okay, I'm gonna cut this one on the floor. Okay, so we also have the nine of wands, definitely learning to trust your intuition, learn to trust yourself, trust others. Um, and the temperance is all about allowing yourself to be vulnerable. So you could have been um, really damaged from, from, you could have felt quite damaged from a past relationship. You're learning to accept what has gone on in your life and accept the things that have really hurt you and have really caused you a lot of pain and you're releasing those. You and this person are really learning to deal with forgiveness and I feel that's something really important for you guys. So let's have a look at your person in a bit more detail. Both of you are going through a revolution. You might actually go, be going for a Jupiter or Saturn return right now to kind of in, enable you to find your, your, your person, to find you and your person. We have Uranus and Venus. This is quite a rare uh, combination that comes out. Very, very rare. So you could be connecting with flies or roses as a symbolism of something. Um, it could be kind of find, being resourceful. And something that I learned about flies is that they can definitely withstand a lot of different things. They kind of get stuck sometimes, kind of like firing themselves at a window and not knowing that they're doing it. Um, that might be something you're working on. You're kind of working on not firing, firing yourself at a window, <laughs> but um, more, more to the sense of like realizing what your patterns are and, and work, learning to like redirect your energy and redirect it somewhere else. So you're not firing yourself at one, one thing. I also feel like you'll learn to be more independent, uh, independently thinking as well. Or you could be an independent thinker and you're learning to, you know, connect with people more deeply. Just obviously take it as it resonates, depending on you as a person. We do have the eighth house. Both of you are learning intimacy, learn to really be intimate. You're somebody who quite observes things quite a lot. So you're somebody who wants a deep connection, but it can be quite hard for you to be vulnerable. So you'll learn to do that. I do feel like you're going to meet this person through work, um, through how you find your material assets. And then we also have the Numinous Mystery and Leo as well. So both of you are going to be quite mysterious. Um, your person uh, is going to be quite mysterious when you meet them because maybe, as I say, the intimacy thing, they might be scared of intimacy. So they might be kind of scared of getting close to you, but they will definitely want to make themselves known to you. Um, in about three weeks of meeting them, I'm picking up on. I'm seeing this person in a suit. So I don't think many people really wear suits anymore, but I definitely see this person in a suit. They could have previously worn suits. This person, yeah, you're going to meet them through um, daily tasks or through work. So literally your daily tasks that we normally do is work. We normally work every single day. So that could be something that they're doing as well. You could meet them through work. You can meet them through the gym. Um, you can meet them through your North Node. So if your North Node is Capricorn, it could be that you're kind of working on um, being more diligent, more... Um, like restrict like disciplining yourself you'll learn to be more disciplined um, but it could also be that you may maybe starting a new routine like fitness or something and it can be really improving your confidence and that draws your person in naturally just energetically but i do feel like because the sixth house is about health and fitness and things like that your person's very much into that sort of thing but it could be also i mean this rules nature and pets as well so this person could easily be a dog walker they could be somebody who's very much into nature and you meet them through a nature something or other or something like that it's also to do with your work habits so it could be this person um now works from home and then maybe they they change their job and then you meet on a zoom call or something like that um, or it could be actually you meet them physically at work depending on your situation so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below thank you so much for being here i really appreciate it i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you very soon bye